COVID cases and test positivity rates are still high in the Thunder Bay District. Medical Officer of Health Dr. Janet DeMille says the sixth wave has yet to peak here, despite declining cases elsewhere in the province. Lee Noonan has the latest details. So right now, unfortunately, we've seen uh, sort of an increase in a number of things that suggest that there's a lot more COVID uh, circulating in our communities right now compared to, say, uh, two or three weeks ago, for sure. Dr. DeMille says an increase in positive PCR tests, higher levels of COVID detected in wastewater and more outbreaks in local institutions are all pointing to an increase in community spread. She says there are currently about a dozen active outbreaks in local institutions, up from a low several weeks ago of around four. Last week, the Lakehead Public School Board strongly recommended that all students and staff wear masks at school. That came following a failed attempt in March to get the health unit to impose a mask mandate in local schools. DeMille says she strongly encourages mask wearing in indoor public spaces, including schools because masks, especially when more people are wearing them, can actually help reduce the transmission in a setting like a school or a workplace. Mill says masks are one among many layers of protection that also include vaccines. She says the TBDHU will continue to administer vaccines at its CLE clinic until at least July, anticipating a rise in demand for all vaccines, but particularly boosters. So as we prepare for the fall, we're looking at potentially having to ramp up immunizations, both for COVID and flu, um, uh, to just help continue to sort of navigate. So we don't really know what's going to happen, of course, with this pandemic, but it, it does tend to be worse in the, the fall or the winter time. DeMille hopes that warmer weather will help and encourages everyone to get outside, saying the outdoors are still the safest place to be. Lee Noonan, TBT News.